Well, I'm gonna read out a passion translation, so I don't know if, if you're gonna. Uh, but well, let me get to find it. Out of John, the seventeenth chapter, of John, and uh, can you hear me? That book? You just go over there. I'm going a little, little bit different direction. I had, I always <clears throat> want to do what uh, I see the Father do. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Let's pray before we get started. I know we pray and we worship. And let's pray. Come into agreement. Yeah. Father, we just thank you right now. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, we 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 call you Daddy because we can. Because Jesus made it possible through yes. His blood, Yeshua made it possible through Amen. His blood, and we to enable us to address You, the the King of the universe, yes. the Creator of all things. We, yes. we can call You Daddy. We can call You Daddy because we are Your sons and yes. we are Your daughters. Yes. Let that sink into You right now. You are sons and daughters of the Most High God, El Elyon the Most High God. Yes. And we thank you, Father, right now for the privilege of coming uh, before your people. Uh, Father God, uh, here uh, in this in this place and those yes. that are watching, Father God, yes, Father. by the marvelous <clears throat> technology that you have provided for these days that we're living in, Father God. Yes. And I thank you that it will, it will increase. We show you that will, this technology will increase further and further. Uh, to yes, enable men and women from all over the world to literally be able to experience uh, coming together, uh, coming together in a way that is far beyond some people's imagination, but it's you're going to make it technologically possible, Father God, for people to actually be in meetings, yes, Father Lord. God. Uh, I know that it's possible now that people yes, are in right. there supernaturally. They're being translated and transported into places yes, uh, because of their great desire uh, and your great desire to have them experience your your presence and your awesome uh, yes, uh, realm of the of the supernatural, Father God. Your awesome realm of of creativity, Father. But I thank you that for those, Father, that lay outside the. The body of Christ, you're going to make it possible for them to be able to participate, Father God, and yes, actually Father. be in meetings, Father God, and just like they were there without having to travel, Father God. And it's going to have a great impact on them and transform their lives. Father, I thank you. I see into the future, Father God, that the, the advances of the technology that you're going to make available to mankind. Yes, uh, Father, because sure the enemy will try to use it and pervert it, but you it is intended and it has come from the very heart of heaven to uh, bring forth uh, the revelation of your dear son Jesus and, and what he's done in his death and his burial and his resurrection. Yes. Thank you, Father God, that you, you caused it to be possible that you, oh, Father, you took the form, Father God, of a human being, Father God. You took on the form of a man, Father God, that the blood, Father, could flow. Your blood, your very blood, your very DNA could begin to flow through the, through the veins of a human being, Father God. And Father God, you could bring a demonstration, you brought a demonstration of what the invisible God was truly like to all those that have never seen, Father God. And you lived, Father God, through, you lived in Jesus. You're one with Jesus. Jesus, with Yeshua, Lord, and you walked the earth. You walked the earth and gave a demonstration of the love of God, the compassion of God, the healing power of God, the, the abundant realm, Father God, that is your kingdom, Father. I thank you, Father God. I thank you, Father God, that you did that. And then you took that. You, you in the body of Jesus, took and shed your blood with your DNA as a sacrifice, Father God, pure, holy, and acceptable, Father God, acceptable to redeem us, redeem mankind, Father God, out of the hands of the enemy, Father. And I do declare, and I do decree right now that the enemy has no right. He has no right. He has no right on our lives. He has no place in our lives for the blood Without sin, without blemish, yes. without shame, yes. without condemnation, Father God. Yes. Without anything that would hinder or stand. 
is so that we might come into unity. Yes, Lord. Unity. Absolute unity with the yes. triune Godhead. Yes. Father, yes. Son, yes. and Holy Ghost. Yes. Father, I thank you for your dear Holy Spirit that you sent to live on the inside of us. Oh. I thank you for the dear Holy Spirit that lives on the inside of us, that leads us and guides us into all reality and strips away the darkness and the veil that the enemy has placed on the eyes of those that would believe, Father God. And I decree and I declare, yeah. and declare right now and legislate yeah. right now and, yeah. and make it a law and a legislation, yeah. Father God, that the eyes of understanding will begin to be opened in Jesus' name. That blinders will begin to fall off. Scales will begin to fall off. The eyes of those that you have destined to believe, Father God, and come into your kingdom. Father, I thank you right now that there is nothing that can stand and withhold the mighty working of your power by the Holy Spirit of God. Father, I thank you. I thank you for your angels, Lord. I thank you for your messengers sent from your heavenly throne to represent, to speak your word, Father. Not only to speak your word, Father, but to release, Father God, their gifts the yes. gifts that you bestowed upon them yes. to give unto your body, Father, in Jesus' yes. name. Yes. Gifts of healing, Father God. Yes. Miraculous things, Father God. I speak for miraculous healings. Yes. Miraculous healings, Father God. Miraculous deliverances from drugs. Miraculous deliverances from bondage, Father God. Sexual bondage, Father God. Father God, physical bondage. We decree and declare and legislate it, Father, in Jesus' name. Let it be so here on earth as it is in heaven. Yes. Father God, your kingdom come. Yes. Your will be done here, now, in this place yes. as it is in the heavens of heaven, Father yes. God. In the heavens of abundant supply, Father God. The yeah, place of abundant supply. Move through this place, Father, by your Holy Spirit. Move through this place by your angelic host, Father God. Begin to move in and out, Father God, and touch people's lives. Father God, smite them with your love, Father God. Smite them with your compassion, Father God. Smite them, Father God. Oh, with your abundance, Father, in Jesus' name. Father, for you are, you are the most high God. <laughs> and you're ours, Father. And we're yours. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. We invoke the name as Father God. Yes. We invoke your name, Father God. Yes, Father. Oh, Yahweh. Shalom. Yahweh, shalom. Yahweh, our peace. Yahweh, our peace that through the Lord Jesus Christ we have peace facing you, Father. Thank you, Lord. We invoke that right now. We invoke peace into this place, Lord. We invoke Yahweh Yahweh, the Lord and it shall be seen. The Lord shall be seen, Father God, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name. Yahweh. Yahweh sit canoe, Lord. We invoke your mighty name of Yahweh sit canoe, Lord. The Lord our righteousness, Lord, we invoke the mighty name of Yahweh him Ganesh, the Lord our holiness, Lord. Oh, we invoke the name of Yahweh, Ra. The Lord is our shepherd. We shall not walk. Yahweh, Yod Hevav, hey. I am that I am. I am that I am. I am that I am. You're all that we need. And all that we will ever need. And we thank you for it, Father. And give you all the glory and all the honor. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. There's a shift, there's a shift in the there's a shift in someone's hip right now. The hip's out of alignment. It's been giving them great pain to the sciatic nerve. It's caused the sciatic nerve now their leg to hurt before they can barely walk. And Jesus, receive it now. Receive it now. The Lord gives. Ask. 
As the, word, as the man said, the man of God said, as the man of God said, he said, I ask, ask. yes, I ask. But receive. Yes. But receive. Yes. But receive. Yes. Open your heart to receive right now. Open your heart to shaka rasote de ma son de la marechote. Ish de la maha rasom de la makara de mosha. Oh, rasan de la mareto, rasan de la maka. Shehe kon de la maha rete. Oh, randa da mara de maya shade la mara da mara da mara de shete la masa. Bahar bahar me bahar me stands. Behind me stands a, an army. Behind me stands a host yes. mounted on horseback of angels. Yes. A heavenly host, a troop, a, a, a vast army ready, ready to be dispatched. Ready to roll over the enemy in your life. Ready to roll Receive, Lord, receive, receive. Say, I receive, Lord. I may not understand, but I receive by faith the word spoken over me right now in Jesus' name. Listen, this I said invasion of the shores of China. Not of men, not of armies, the armies of men, but I see an invasion of the heavenly host yes. starting over the, the vast coast of China. Yes. And I see it rolling, begin to roll across. And many that are crying out, there are many believers in that nation that are yes. crying out to be, yes. that the, the bondage should be lifted off them. Yes. I see the, the host of heaven begin to roll across there. Yes. In the name of Jesus, I see India. I see India. I see it starting for in the south, in the south. What is that? The west to southwest. What is west? Southeast, the southeast corner of India from the, the bottom up through those states. I see the heavenly host dispatched right now. Listen to me. I hear it beginning. You shook out our soto. It comes, it's coming up, it's coming up. Be loose it in Jesus' name. A vast army of, of angelic hosts coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up. With an equipping men and women that will lay down there. They'll lay down their implements of agriculture. They'll lay down their weapons of war and take up the word of the Lord and shall go forth. I see burning, fiery ones. I see burning, burning ones. We get to burn. Men and women literally begin to burn with the fire of the Holy Spirit that none can withstand. Nothing can withstand. I see demons scattering like cockroaches. I see false eyes. Shattered and scattered. Yes. And I said, moving up. Yes. 
from that corner up, up, yeah. up towards yeah. the door yeah. to me. Oh, to me. In Jesus' name. Shikaratabasa. Baratabakasata. Yes, Telebasa. Yes, Father Ataba. What about our country, Father? What about our nation, Father? Uh, what about our nation, Father? I see at each coast, I see the host at the very border of the, of the west and of the east. I see them waiting. I see them being held back. I see them being held back. The Lord would say unto you, He says, that many are crying out, many are, are, are believing, many are praying, many are praying out of fear. But you should worship me. Yes. You should worship me and put your faith and your trust in me. For believe me, the Lord has provided that which is necessary to sweep through this nation from both sides to meet in the middle. Yes. But there's something holding back. There's something holding back. The hearts of the people, the hearts of the people must turn, turn away from their own self, looking at themselves and looking at their 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 own structures, their man-made strength got to turn their eyes to me. Turn their eyes to me and worship me. Lay aside their pride, lay aside their preconceived ideas. I see the spirit of religion. I see the spirit of religion. I see the spirit of religion. I, I see it, I see it, it's, it's, it's encouraging them to turn, not to turn. I see the spirit of religion encourage them not to turn to the true worship of Almighty God in spirit and in truth. I curse that spirit of religion. Yes. Whatever form or fashion it is, Whatever form or fashion it takes yes. to, to draw the hearts of men and to draw the hearts of women away from the intimacy, the love, the fellowship, and the falling on their face yes. in their spirits to worship the living God. Yes. It's not too late. Listen, the Lord says it's not too late. It's not too late, but you must not wait on others. That's right. It's, it, you must not wait on others. If you're serious, if you, this is serious. This is not a scary message, but this is a serious message. Yes, Lord. Yes. You've got to quit waiting on somebody else to do your job. Yes. I created you to worship. And in your, in your worship, you release, you release my armies. They're listening. They're listening to your voice. They're listening even now for your voice to, to give the amen, to, to give the so be it. Let it be so. Yes. They, they're li listen to you. Don't look, don't look down on yourself. Listen, you, the least shall be the greatest. Up until John the Baptist, John the Baptist was the greatest. And the king, all the, of all the prophets that went before him, Isaiah, Ezekiel, all the prophets, he said, Jesus said himself that none was greater than John the, John the Baptist. And yet he said this, he said, the least in the kingdom of God, talking about the new creation, is greater than him. So if you, if you consider yourself the least, you're greater than some of the greatest men of God that ever, women of God that ever fought, graced the face of the earth. And there's more power in your hands, there's more power at lightning in your voice than they ever had. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your work. Yes. Thank you, Father. 
Oh, hallelujah. John 17, verse 3. Uh, I'm going to start verse 1 just for the sake of rattling. What time is it? Jeez, y'all get that? Amen. Amen. Uh, I agree with it. Yes. Shoot. Yes. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. John 17 and 1, Jesus writing. This is the Passion Translation. <clears throat> Made it a little easier for us to understand. And this is what Jesus prayed as he looked up into heaven. He said, Father, the time has come. Glory to God. He, came and he said that over 2,000 years ago. How much closer is it now? Amen. Yes. Father, the time has come. Unveil the glorious splendor of your Son. Yes. I pray that, Father God. Unveil the glorious splendor of your Son. So that I may magnify your glory. Jesus said, he prayed, asked the Father, Un unveil my glory so that I may unveil your glory. Amen. The Lord wants you, he wants to unveil the glory that's within you. Christ in you, the hope of glory. He wants to unveil the glory, not of your ego, not of your pride, not of your education, not of your spirituality. But the glory that resides, oh, uh, that resides, oh, uh, that resides on the inside of you. Why? So you can be glorified? No. So that you might glorify the Father. Amen. Amen. That was Jesus' prayer. He wanted to glorify the Father. He wanted to glorify the Father. He said, so that I may magnify your glory or make it big. Make it big. You put something under a magnifying glass, you make it big. You enlarge it so you can see it better. The Lord wants, he wants his glory to be seen not in a, in a, in a measure here and a measure there, but he wants his, his glory to be magnified so that all can see. Amen. That all can see his glory. See his glory realm. So that I may magnify your glory. And you have already given me, you have already given me authority over all people. You have already given me authority over all people so that I may give, listen, that I may give the gift, it's a gift, yeah. of eternal life yeah. to all those that you have given to me. So Jesus had the authority, been given the authority by the Father to, to give, to give. Isn't it an awesome thing to give? It's, it, it is a wonderful thing to be able to give healing to someone or give, give up some help, <coughs> give them some financial aid, give them something that will get them along in life. How much more so to have the gift, listen, to have the gift. Jesus had the gift to give everlasting, eternal life. To those that that the Father had given to him, <coughs> do you understand what that means? This, this blows my mind. The fact is, you know, we talk we talk about age. You know, we get a lot. Of, some of us get older, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, in, in natural time. But you, but you sit and meditate about the fact if you if you're born, what what. what I get. I, I, I go old school. Born again. The word is actually born from above, because that's where you're born from. You're born on earth first, but you get born. You have to be born a second time from above by the Spirit. You're born by the Spirit, and that, that causes your spirit, man, to be uh, a new, become a new creation. You don't get healed spiritually. You become a new as a as a creative act. Your spirit, man, your spirit, soul, and body. Your soul, like I said, your soul has to be renewed by the by, by the, the Holy Spirit, the Word of God, and then your body is going to be changed at the at the glorious appearing. Now I don't know, you know what's that? I don't know. You, but you go get a new body. Amen. Yeah. I, I I don't got this story. This. Uh, gentleman I was listening to, he died. He, he'd actually gone for a routine uh, 
get a wisdom tooth, an impacted wisdom tooth removed, and, and uh, they'd given him two months out of Sedic and he died. And he said he, <clears throat> he said he put him under. And the next thing he knew, he was standing beside the uh, the, the, the chair or whatever, and he was looking at himself. And he he tried to go around to each of the, the doctors and the nurses and, and get them to say, no, he, I, he says, I'm dead, do something, I'm dead, I'm dead. And he said, of course, he was a spirit. And you know, that was his spirit, so he couldn't make any contact with him. So all you out there that are scared of ghosts and stuff, that ain't something making contact with you. Spirits can't make contact with you. <laughs> anyway, he said, he said, but this is, I just point this out, this is a great marvelous story. He said, one thing he noticed about himself, he saw himself like he should have been. He, he said, he said, I saw myself like I was supposed to be before Adam fell. Mm. Very good. He said it was quite a difference. Mm. So you need to know your spirit, man, looks like you're supposed to look. Amen. The rest of you is catching up to it. Amen. But you have to realize that even the most gorgeous woman and the most good-looking man, which I don't care much about good-looking men, <laughs> thank God, I'm not of that persuasion. At, the, at best, they, they couldn't compare to what you were supposed to look like before Adam fell. Amen. Before the fall, before death entered the earth. And with death, sick death, with, with death entering the earth through, through Adam's disobedience, then sin and death entered in. Death, death had to enter into the earth through the avenue of sin. Mm -hmm. Do you realize that? Sin would, death piggybacked into the earth on sin. Just like it'll piggyback, you know what piggyback is? Mm -hmm. Get them right in them. All death rides in on sin. Think about that. I want you to think about that. All death rides in on sin. Now, if you think about that and take it the other way around, that means all life rides in on righteousness. Amen. Life rides in on righteousness. What is sin? What is death? Death, physical death, sickness, poverty. Uh, broken relationships, all that's death. Death not just not putting somebody in, in the ground. That's why we, us as believers, we put in the ground, we're not dead. Death is separation from the presence, or or, or at least in a, in a believer, it's not a separation from the presence, it's a, it's a separation of their consciousness of the presence. As God said, the Lord said, I'll never leave you, he said three times, in the original language, I'll never leave you, nor will I forsake you. I will never, hear that, I will never leave you, nor will I forsake you. I will never leave you, nor will I forsake you. It may seem like you're forsaken. It may seem like you're abandoned. That's seeming. That's seeming. That's sight. But, but I, you've got to come to the place where the, You've got to come to the place where, where God said is true and every man be a liar, including yourself, if it's not lined up with, with what he said. I'm staking my life on that. Amen? Amen? Yeah. So he said he said he looked different. So so sin, when sin comes into your life, death piggybacks on it. It opens the door, but, but <clears throat> the opposite of sin is righteousness. Now we're the righteousness of God in Christ. Through the blood of Jesus, he makes us righteous. We're righteous, we're right with the Father. Now that should cause us, as we walk in that righteousness, to do the right thing. And to the right thing is to not sin. <laughs> I know we all mess up, we get tired, we screw up, we do stuff, 
We're not talking about just intentionally just following after sin. I'm going to just, I don't care what God says, I'm going to do it. You're in dangerous waters when you start doing that. Open rebellion is not tolerated in the kingdom. Amen. The last angel I know of that did that ended up in a bad place. Now, I, now I'm, not, I'm not trying to be funny, don't you understand? Rebellion is not tolerated. I'm talking kingdom now. I'm talking about a kingdom. I'm, I'm through with this, with this uh, churchy, worchy stuff. I love the church. It's the body of Christ. But I'm talking about we're in the kingdom right now. Amen. And the kingdom has a king. Yes. And the king has authority. Amen. And the king has power because Amen. he's got an army yes. back in. Amen. And he has a government. And he has he has he has divisions, not dividing or separating, but he has different avenues. Different. It's just like a government. You need to understand the kingdom is like a, it, it is a it is a government, but it is a holy government <laughs> that works. It's not like our government. Now, we got one of the best on the planet, but it don't we, obviously it, it's not working too hot right now because of people and sin and rebellion. And if you don't think these folks are not rebelling against the Most High God and they're not demonically inspired, you're, a, you're you just you need to take a nap. Or yep. oh, you need to wake up. We're in perilous times. I don't think we're in the perilous times, but we're in perilous times. Amen. I get off. All right. Excuse me. <clears throat> and then. And this, what I just said, the of the glory splendid of your son, so that I will magnify your glory. You have already given me the authority over all people so that they, I may give them the gift of eternal life to all those that you've given me. Just, just imagine this. Now listen, if you, if you, don't, blink, you just don't blow your mind. And you, you, how many of y'all have, have trusted Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, for those Jewish people out there, They've trusted him for your soul. You've trusted your your spirit and your soul. You trusted in him and what he's done. And he did he died on a cross. Then he was buried. He was he went to the depths of the earth to do what he had to do down there. Then the Father on the third day, the Father, how many of you believe that the Father and the Father God by the Holy Spirit raised him from the dead? That he is not a corpse. He is a living, transfigured God man. Amen. How many of y'all believe that? That's right. Amen. Amen. Well, then, then I can assuredly tell you by the authority of the of the not only the written word, but the bearing the, bear, the witness of the Holy Spirit, that you will never cease to exist. Amen. And not only that, you will never die. Even people that don't believe in Jesus, they'll they'll exist, but they're not going to exist in a place where they want. It's, it's a good, not a good place. I'm not good, and I'm not a hellfire damnation type guy. But I'm telling you, it's not. You don't want to go there. Warn people about this. Every man of God I've ever there's ever been there. He, he, he was told warn warn people about this place. And, and I don't care what you if you you don't believe in it or not. It, it, I, it, I, it's not like you think it is. It's not a place where, where God's beating the hell out of people for all eternity to, because he don't like them. Because he's, he is love. Amen. And I can tell you this right now, if there's fire, it's the fire of his holy love burning people. Amen. And, and, the, and, and he wants to burn whatever is keeping them from believing out of them. And I'm getting real trouble right now because I'm not least the thing y'all believe. Come on. Come on. I believe, I believe the mercy. You know, I, see, I just lost about half the people on that and watch, watch it. You know, if I start talking about this, so, you okay? He, he, I'm, he's a universalist. He believes everybody's saved. No, I don't believe everybody's saved. I ain't stupid. But I believe this is my father loves people. Amen. And he'll go to any lengths. Yes. He'll go to any lengths yes. to have them home. Yes. 
And I didn't say it wasn't some suffering involved. If you reject Jesus, there's some suffering going to be involved. But don't don't thank you for a minute. It was it was Daddy's will for that to happen to you. That's right. That's right. God, I can tell you some stories. I ain't gonna tell you. You thought you really? I I, I just clean just go and clean the rest of you out of here. I guess. <laughs> God, should I tell him? No, I'm not gonna do it. Lord, I don't want to have no money. I'll be starved to death on the side of the road. <laughs> but just know that some mercy of the Lord's good. So you, you out there, that are, that are, you've got, how many of y'all got loved ones you know that, that don't know Jesus? Mm-hmm. That, that, that rejected Jesus? Don't buy, listen, let me tell you something. Don't buy this, this uh, hellfire and damnation crap that, 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 that just could, that when they die, that's their last chance. Oh, I just lost y'all. <laughs> I'm talking about the love of God. Now, I'm not t- listen, I'm not talking about you do your own thing and live like hell and you expect to go to heaven. I ain't talking about that. Sure. I'm talking about the love of God will reach yeah. into the pit of hell. Yeah. And if you don't think God will Go, it, Jesus went down there one time when he died on that cross he went down there one time and he led captivity captive Amen. and he said this he said the same works I do greater works shall you do people talking about going to heaven y'all been to heaven some of you have been to heaven some of you have been caught up into heaven some of you have worshipped on the sea of glass some of you have stood there and worshipped at the throne of grace of God but how many of you have ever been to hell Amen. and preached the gospel in hell? That's right. how, how, many, how many of you would be willing to go to hell to preach the gospel? Amen. To knock on the very doors of, of thrash, I don't know what I mean. Knock on the very doors and say, let me in. I got something to say. And preach the gospel of Jesus Christ to people who rejected him or never heard, or never heard the gospel, and then say, "You want to come out? You can come with me and sure. lead them out." Amen. See, I've lost half of you now. I've lost all of Facebook and all that crap. God's bigger than you think He is. Amen. Amen. The mercy of the Lord more. Yes. Thank you. The, the, the doggone church is tormenting people. Right. Right. They're tormenting people over their loved ones. Most of you, your anxiety is not over yourself. You know you're saved. You, you're worried about your loved ones. Mm-hmm. You love, and I'm not, this, they still got a free will. They still got to make a choice. But I'm telling you what, the, the, yes. the mercy of the Lord is great. Amen. 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 Be at peace. I'll tell you what, he ain't give up on you. Your, your dead loved ones, he ain't give up on them. That's right. Thank you. Quit, quit laying away. Keep praying for them. Keep believing God. Quit your doggone worrying about them and being anxious about them. The Bible says be anxious for nothing. That's the, that's the word of the Lord. Be anxious for nothing. But by prayer and supplication, let your request be known unto God yeah. Yeah. with thanksgiving. And then the peace of God, the shalom of God, will come upon you and guard your heart in Christ Jesus. Yeah. How many of you want your heart guarded? Yeah. Yeah. Holy Ghost! Yes. Holy Ghost. Move these people, man. Move them. Please move them. God loves you. He loves people. I, I can't. This is the Holy Spirit. I, I could not know. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> I'm not that way. I'm not that way. But I got his. <laughs> the only way is he's a fine. Oh, Lord. Well, I've done it and I've come out of the closet. What kind of, you, you don't understand what kind of hell I'm going to catch. You just don't know. You don't know. You have no idea. Some of y'all, y'all love me. Y'all love me. Yeah, I can sit for Jenny and Mary had a little lamb. Some of you love me. I don't know why you love me, but you love me. You, but there's a lot of people out there who don't like me. <laughs> and there sure as hell a lot of demons out there don't like me. Uh, what's that? Get out of here. <laughs> no, really. Get out. Now. Go. That was a big one right here. Just get out. Try it. Out. out. He's he gone. Uh, go out the door. Yeah. You can't get out the door if you're big. Go out through the wall. Go on. <laughs> Dang, he's ugly. Don't come back. No. I don't see demons a whole lot. I see angels. Yeah. That was a big ugly one standing back there and his horns and whole deal. Looked like a bull. Out. You go. He didn't like that. <laughs> he didn't like that. Come on. Some of you listen to me. You don't you listen to me. Don't you get it? You get go this is not a time to get offended. That's right. You disagree with me? Fine. Sorry. I love I still love you. I'm still saved when you want me to be about to. Because I can tell you this right now, I believe in Jesus. Amen. Yes. I believe there's no other way to come to the Father except through Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And through the cross. Amen. 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 You know, That's right. that, buddy. Amen. Uh, That's right. Uh, I disagree on the rest of my theology, but I agree on that. Amen. 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 And what am I talking about? All right, verse, I'm trying to get to verse 3. This is it. Come on. How many of you under the illusion that eternal life starts when you die and go to heaven? Most people do. But most people, uh, yeah, y'all are, y'all, look, you have to give y'all some credit. Y'all got more sense than most people. <laughs> Unless you've been taught better. Y'all credit all that to me. So. <laughs> no. Most people do not. You have to realize that. I tell I did it right. The family, she's, just, she's so innocent and sweet, and she, she ain't been through the, the stuff I've been through, and so she, don't, she really doesn't have an understandable lot of things about people because she's just sweet. She's just the sweetest. Her, her name actually means full of honey. That's what the family means, full of honey. Uh, she is full of honey. But there are people out there that, that, that their idea, they've been taught, you get to realize they've been religiously taught instead of religiously brainwashed and the New Testament taught. Heaven, they think eternal life begins when you die. You go to heaven. That's why everybody wants to die. They either want to, they either want to die or they want to get raptured. <laughs> <laughs> and they prefer the rapture because that way they don't have to suffer at all. That's right. And face it, most human beings, and I don't blame them, I've been in pain. I have been in pain. I've suffered. You know, this is my eighth year from coming out of the hospital. I got my chip. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. Last week, a brother, I won't miss his name, but I don't want him to lose his reward because he blessed me. He gave me a card last week. And, and I, I just stick, people give me stuff, I stick it in my briefcase and I look at it. And, uh, and I woke up this morning, let me tell you something, I was telling the family, I said, I, I'm just about done with this. <clears throat> I'm just, just about done with this, I don't know. So God let me out of this some way. And I come up here and it says, it is this card, open this card up, and then, this card says, you're right where you need to be. <laughs> In his hands. Thank you. And this is what I really like about it. Now, that the word saved me, but it, there was a, 
Yeah. 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 Yeah
and it, it was like 10,000, 20,000, 40,000 denominations, different Protestant denominations in the United States. It's hard for anybody to get together and agree about anything. Are you following me? So that is not faith. Faith is, is trust and action. Faith, faith and belief are not even the same thing. You can believe something and not, and not do it. Faith is action. The fact is, your, your faith will affect your belief. A lot of people think, well, I believe that, and so therefore I, I won't. Yeah, we believe, therefore we speak. I know that. I know that. I know that's true. But, but your, your faith is action. It's doing something. That's why most Christians don't have any faith. They believe a lot of stuff, but they don't ever act on it. That's right. Most, most people will act upon the word of someone who they consider an authority, a doctor, a lawyer, a judge, a government, a policeman, because they, they recognize authority, earthly authority. They'll act on their word before they'll act on the word of the Almighty God. Isn't that true? Mm -hmm. Isn't it sad? Sad. Okay? All right. So eternal life means to know and experience you. Who? The only true God. The only true God. And, 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 and to know and experience who? Jesus Christ. As the Son. As, experience Him as the Son. Amen. That you sent as the Son. As the son that you said, if, if you get or just get a picture, of what he said, he this is eternal life to know to know the Father and to know the Son as you sent him. That's right. As you sent him, for God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten Son, his his monogenetic, his DNA. I think I was praying it while I prophesied. Unique DNA had no contamination in it. <clears throat> That's why it was fit. You know, they examined the, the before the, they sacrificed a lamb for Passover or sacrificed a lamb the day of atonement. They'd inspect it to make sure it was pure. Well, that was a type and shadow of Jesus. He was pure. His blood was pure. It, it wasn't contaminated with, with sin. Sin literally has a physical manifestation in your DNA. Mm -hmm. That's why you see hereditary people. You know, like for the third and fourth generation, a lot of people take that wrong. It says God will, to their, like a curse to the third and fourth generation, those that hate him. He said, I will visit visit them. What he's talking about, he's, he's checking them out. He, he knows, he understands that, that well, there's an, an, an embedded iniquity in you know, a person. It'll pass on down to, down to the fourth generation. So in other words, he said, I'm going to keep an eye on him. Yeah. <coughs> they need special attention. And I pretty much understand that everybody in this room probably qualifies. <laughs> Amen. So he got his eye on him. Amen. Isn't that good? Because he's been watching that extra. Amen. I mean, yeah. we got off too much. He said, and they should know Jesus Christ is the Son whom you sent. Isn't that a good thing? Yeah. The fact that it, he sent his son. He loved us so much he sent his son. Don't ever forget that. He sent his son. Amen. Don't let this slide off. Don't get so caught up in your everyday life and not your health or skeleton. We had, we, had a, we had a week that we lost a, a little dog that we've had for 15 years. And uh, that might not mean much to you, but uh, uh, all the grandkids loved the dog. It was. You had to deal with all the stuff. So, you know, we lost a couple of nights of sleep trying to stay up all night. Pamela was trying to save the dog, you know. Couldn't do it. Anyway, that's not anything compared to human being suffering. I know that. But, uh, isn't it good that Jesus came? Amen. He made a way for us. Amen. Let me read this to you on close. This is the word the Lord gave us. He said, listen, listen to this. He said, I desire, the Lord spoke to this. He said, I desire, I'm going to read it. Obviously, he gave it to us. 
He desire, I desire intimate fellowship with my children. Into me see. I desire intimate fellowship. In to me see. He said, I want them to see into my heart like I see into their heart. As you see into my heart, it reveals truly who you are and who you truly are and what you're designed by me to be. The only way you're going to discover your purpose in life is to, is to find it where you came from, which is the heart of the Father. Listen, this is, this is the admonition of the Lord. Don't let the world define you. Don't let flesh, your flesh, define you. Don't let the devil define you. In other words, don't get your identity from any of those places. Amen. Let me, this is the Father saying, let me reveal who you are and the limitless potential I have placed in you let it become a reality in your own vision. In other words, let you begin to see yourself like God sees you in an unlimited potential. This is what he says, I'm opening up the gate. This, this is the Lord saying this. He said, I'm opening up the gate of your heart to allow the, the rivers of living water to flow out into my creation to bring my life to flow out, to bring healing and restoration to all that have a mind to receive my everlasting, abundant life. This is life everlasting, that they would know me and know my Son and who they are in Him. You are, you, he's talking about all of us, you are united with me through your life hidden in him. Mm -hmm. You had to go back and listen. You had to get, go back and get the video and listen to that again because I know you didn't get all that. But you need to listen to it. You know, Pamela Spirit, I, I, I prophesied, the last time I prophesied in a long time, she took the YouTube video because she got subtitles on YouTube now, but they don't always translate right. <laughs> Sometimes I get some things be on there. And I didn't say them. I will say some stuff, but I didn't say that. She, she, she spent, how many hours did she spend? Six, seven hours? Now she, take, now she takes the word seriously to translate that right write it out. And most of them don't even remember what I said. I don't remember what I said. But, that, but the more she copied it, the more she read it, she said, she said Richie, you need to read this. She said, some of this stuff's scary. <laughs> I thought, well, I don't want to read it. I <laughs> I just, I'm just a mouthpiece. I ain't got to do that one. I don't know, I'm going to go back and read it again. But, <clears throat> so a lot of times it, we take too lightly <clears throat> when the Lord speaks. We say, well, that's just another guy blowing off, mm -hmm. blowing off. You know, when he speaks, I listen to him. I listen, there's people I listen to. I listen to to people that I believe are the gentlemen. I, I don't listen to everybody because I don't. I know when they're blowing smoke. Sure. <clears throat> I'm getting ready to quit. All right, let me give you this key. The one key to legitimacy is, is and this is hard, is to work on your ego. Work on your work on your pride. Mm -hmm. You you are who God says you are, not what the world says. Amen. And you don't need to be anybody else but what God wants you to be. Amen. Yeah, that's good enough. Because I ain't you know I, I, if if of all the master craftsmen I've ever encountered, he's he's the man. That's right. Amen. 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 Like you say, he don't make any help. Amen. Amen. Right. Praise the Lord. Praise God. We got time? Would, could I get four volunteers to, to distribute the table?
Thank you. I really like him. Uh, some reason I think he's got an anointing to do this. Mm -hmm. Now, he, now, evidently, some of y'all don't have an anointing count because I always see two people. Y'all <laughs> <laughs> hey, scared to get up now. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you. You, 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 you have to get pray through you. Go ahead and get up and help. <laughs> now we're going to do something a little unusual today. I'm going to confess you. Know, and I, I'll make a, this available to you if you want it. A lot, a lot not a lot, people t take communion on a daily basis. I, I don't, it's just because I'm lazy. But... <clears throat> Put more money in the pockets from the state. I want you to understand this week. Now, I'm going to make a couple of special. I think that some of y'all are serious. You can take communion. <laughs> you don't have to be an ordained minister to take communion. <laughs> I got thrown out of the church for, for doing communion in a home group one day. He told me I wasn't ordained. I couldn't be given communion. That's the truth. Can you believe that? You know how religious people are. Yep. <laughs> I wasn't trying to start nothing. I was just trying to, Jesus said, do this as often as you will. And he didn't say nothing about no special birth of it. I don't know. Now, I would advise you to take it seriously. Now, please, this, this might, this is very funny. All right. So, let's, I'm going to, this is a confession. As we take this communion, I, this is, we're going to activate. You can activate things prophetically. That means you, you, you decree them under the power of the Holy Spirit, which is in you, whether you feel like it or not. And the angels are going to listen. And then they're going to, they're going to set about as best as they can without your interference <clears throat> to accomplish this. Now, we know Jesus took, on the night he was betrayed, took bread and said, this is my body, this is my body. What's in the body? Blood's in the body. Life's in the body. He took a cup and said, this is the blood of the new covenant, right? right. Blood, he said blood, didn't he? Yeah. Now, I know it's Jesus, I know that, I'm not crazy, it's, it's, but he said blood. He was, you could be in two places at once. You could be in the heavenlies and you can be here now. In fact, you are, whether you realize it or not. You're in deep, you're by location. I didn't say you're bisexual, I said you're by location. You means you're in two places at once. That's right. Now, when you hook your soul up to the to your spirit, then you can experience heaven. That's right, amen. Then enjoy what your spirit's already enjoying, amen. amen. But we're gonna we're gonna work on our, our bodies right now. Okay? Remember I explained Jesus' blood was pure, right? Yes. Right. Or what's in your blood? Your DNA is in your blood. It's in your, all your body, but especially in your blood, right? Right. All right, say this one it says now look, we're we're gonna apply we're gonna apply the blood <coughs> in the body right now. Listen. I say I say this with I engage. I engage. The DNA, of God. the DNA of God. I embrace, I embrace the, transforming power the transforming power of the body, of the, body and the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. I, engage the record I engage the record containing the light, containing the, light the, sound, the sound, and the frequency, and the frequency of God's image. Of God's image. I embrace, I embrace the record, the record of, the dimensions of the dimensions of the kingdom, of the kingdom released, released in my body, in my body by, the DNA of God. by the DNA of God. I engage, I engage that DNA record, DNA record and I apply it to my bones. This is this. I speak to my marrow. I speak to my liver and command it to live. 
I'll apply the, I'll apply the frequency of the DNA to transform me into the image of Jesus. Transform every genetic record. Resequence my DNA into alignment. I apply the blood of Jesus to transform all impure genetic material. I speak to it to be transformed. I apply the blood of Jesus to all iniquitous genetic patterns. Be cleansed. I call all my genetic material to resonate with the DNA of God and come into alignment with my eternal image. I choose to bear the image of my Father in heaven. I choose to bear the image of my brother Jesus in heaven. Let the breath of God be breathed into my life, transforming me into a living being, joined to the Lord in one spirit with Him. One more. I speak creative words to my DNA to release supernatural abilities from God. I trigger the ability to see the realm of the kingdom. I trigger the ability to move in the realm of the kingdom. In Jesus' name. Yeah, how many of y'all agree with that? Probably didn't understand what I'm saying, but we give it to you today. Amen. Praise the Lord. Father, right now we thank you in Jesus' name. We thank you for the precious body of the Lord Jesus Christ yes. given for us. Yes. We take it, eat it, and we thank you that our confession of faith has been, has been listened to yes. and is being enacted right now. Yes. Now! Yes. My faith in Jesus' name. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Take it, eat Just say that the very DNA of, of God yes. just entering into your body. Yes. Eradicating, transforming yes. your DNA, Thank your genetic makeup. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'll live and not die. I'll live and I'll live to declare the works of the Lord. Yes. Thank you for this body, Father. Thank you, Father. That you, that you gave me to bear around my spirit mm -hmm. in this earth, in this earth. So, so I can show forth your glory. So I commit it to your hands, Father. Your hands, Father. In Jesus' name. Jesus. In Yeshua's name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Take the cup, the blood, mm. the, clean, every, the pure, ever <coughs> cleansing blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Eradicating all sin. Yes. Sin has no power over the blood of Jesus. That's right. Say that sin has no more power over me. Sin has no more power. I'm a slave to righteousness. I'm slave to righteousness. I'm free. I'm free. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. Take your hand. That's right. To the king. To the king. Amen. <coughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let's pray. Oh, God. Did I say I didn't believe in the rapture? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, praise you, Father. 
If y'all didn't get healed out of that, you get helped out of that. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Jesus. Thank you. Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Jesus. The cross, Jesus, the blood. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yahweh. 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 Bless you. Your Hevave, keep you. Your Hevave, make his face to shine upon you. Your Hevave, give you grace abundant. Your Hevave, your Hevave, make shalom overtake your life. Nothing missing, nothing broken. In the name of the Most High God. Yeshua, Hamashiach, Messiah, Jesus of Nazareth. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Amen.